Now we are going to start with the plant tissue as you all are aware of the animal tissue now. So coming on to the plant tissue, so plant tissues are divided into two categories. One is the meristematic, another is the permanent. You know that what is the difference between the two? Both of them consist of cells, obviously the tissues consist of cells. So but the difference lies here is that meristematic cells retain their power to divide, retain their power to divide throughout life. That means their main function is to divide, divide and divide that means to give rise to new cells. So they continuously divide and you know that they can like uh, they can uh, they can they divide throughout their life and they just uh, keep on uh, giving rise to new cells. But permanent cells are those, those meristematic cells which actually lose their power to divide, they form a permanent tissue. So that means which lose their power to divide they form permanent tissue. So this is the basic difference that in meristematic the cells have power to divide and they keep on dividing throughout the life and they give rise to new cells. But as far as permanent is concerned they divide up to a certain period and after you can say meristematic cells which lose their power to divide actually they form the permanent tissue. So this is what is in meristematic and the permanent one. Now moving on to the meristematic one like in detail. So as I told you that meristematic cells have power to divide throughout life. Now let us see that what does it consist of. They are actually very small, they are actually very small and they are thin walled and they have a large nuclei and they can be of any shape. Let us say that uh, they are like this. So they are present like this and you know that uh, the cells are small thin wall and a large nucleus is there and they do not have any vacuole or no spaces between them or a very little space between them and the power to divide I had already told you. Now depending upon that where this meristematic tissue is present as this tissue obviously is in giving rise to new cells that means it is its function is, is to promote growth its function is to promote growth. So depending upon that uh, in which region <coughs> the meristematic tissue is present, it has been classified into two, three categories. One is the apical meristem, other is the intercalary meristem and third is the lateral meristem. Just depending upon that where they are present, we classify them into three categories, apical, intercalary and lateral. Apical meristem, meristem is the one which is present at the tip of the plant. Like I have a plant, so this is an apical meristem. Here an apical meristem is present. So obviously it is present in the tip, so that means its main function is to increase the length of the plant. The main function of it is to increase the length of the plant. Coming on to intercalary, intercalary is present at this place, this place, this place. So they are actually present at internodes, they are present in internodes. See uh, suppose I have a plant, so from where the leaf arises that is called as node. Let us say leaf arise from here this point, so this is node. The distance between two is the internodes, right. So they are present in the internodes, their function is to increase number of branches their function is to increase the number of branches and also the distance between the branch. Third we have a lateral meristem, lateral meristem is present on sites like this, they are present on the sites, their function is, uh, their fun they are present on sites and or you can say they are present between the food connective tissue and the water conducting tissue and their function is to increase the thickness of plant their function is to increase the thickness. So they just make the plant grow like laterally that is uh, thickness is increased, apical help the plant grow taller and uh, this thing intercalary just increase the number of branches. So this is what is the meristematic one. Now coming on to the permanent as I told you they the one which lose their power to divide they form the permanent tissue. So permanent tissue is again divided into two categories, one is the simple permanent tissue other is the complex permanent tissue and if we look for the subcategories complex one is divided into xylem and phloem and in simple we have parenchyma, we have colenchyma, we have sclerenchyma. Right. 
and you know that moreover like permanent tissue is of simple I told you this in complex also like xylem and phloem it also uh, like uh, or you can what you can what uh, subdivision you can do is that you can classify permanent into two categories one is protective which is just protecting and the other that is supporting in supporting we have other so what what you do till now is just leave the permanent tissue for this movement just try to uh, do meristematic one because the space is short to write I'll just rub it erase it everything and I'll just uh, we'll start with the only the permanent tissue because it will there we need to draw uh, do, uh, do a lot of divisions right so just uh, do meristematic first we are starting with the permanent now <laughs> 